Join us as we run down the 10 best 50cc scooters and mopeds for 2024. Kicking off our top 10 50cc scooter list today, we have this legendary little offering from the French manufacturer Peugeot, the Speed Fight 50. Powered by a 49.9cc single cylinder four stroke engine, the Speed Fight is capable of pumping out 3.9 horsepower and is able to reach a top speed of up to 28 miles per hour, which is more than respectable when it comes to the 50cc class. Onto the design, and this scooter has been created with the younger market in mind, keeping the look of the Speed Fight fresh and modern with three different colorway options available, including ice white, mad black, and motor to red. Overall, I think it's fair to say that the Speed Fight is a great option for those looking for their first ever scooter or moped, all for the price of £2,979 brand new. So for pros, the styling is a 10 out of 10, it's a great option for a first bike and it returns great fuel economy. As for cons, it's not the most affordable option out there. Next up in our ninth spot today, we have the Sinist Twist. For 2024, the Twist sports some pretty impressive upgrades such as LED front and rear lights, restyled aerodynamic fairings that improve performance in the wind and rain, as well as an all new chassis helping to aid the maneuverability of the bike around town. Onto the performance of the Twist 50, and this scoot comes equipped with a 49.6cc air-cooled engine and produces 2.9 horsepower, which is by no means the highest on this list, but certainly more than enough for those looking to tackle their first two-wheeler. Lastly, when it comes to price, the Sinist Twist comes in at £1,699 for 2024, also making this one of the more affordable choices on this list. So for pros, it's lightweight and easy to handle, it returns good fuel economy, as for comms, it could do with a little more power behind it, and the dash is very basic. Taking 8th spot today has got to be one of the offerings from Chinese built but British born and heritage packed brand AJS, the Bar Letter, a new model introduced to their lineup late last year. Powering the Bar Letter, we have a 50cc four stroke air cooled engine that, when combined with the running weight of 102 kilograms, makes this scoot lightweight and easy to handle around town. Coming on to the design of the Bar Letter, this scoot combines the stylish classic lines of a retro scooter with modern features such as all round LED lights, a USB charger charging port and an extra security ignition locking mechanism. The Bar Letter is another scooter that you can pick up for just under £2,000, making this one of the cheapest options on the list, and I'd argue it is worth every penny of that price, especially for that styling. So for pros, it's classically stylish with modern aspects, one of the cheapest offerings on this list, and the heritage brand name helps it stand out. As for cons, styling won't be for everyone, and it's brand new, so it's yet to be fully tested. Next up, and sitting at 7th, we have the Lambretta V50 Special. The Lambretta V50 Special is a modern day Lambi that rocks a great mix of modern and classic styling. Lambretta in its current guise brings us the V Special series with the CBT friendly V50 available from those 16 and up in the UK on a CBT. Coming back with a 49.5cc engine that can reach top speeds of 28 miles per hour, the V50 not only packs a punch but it also comes in some pretty neat spec and colorways too. Again, I've got to give you my personal favourite, the khaki green. Lastly, when it comes to the price, we have to keep in mind that this is a Lambretta, so it's not going to be one of the most affordable on this list, and instead a rather premium offering. To get yourself a V50 today, you'll be looking at paying £3,299, which again, I'd argue, for such an iconic and stylish scooter, it is worth it. So for pros, it's an iconic scooter and manufacturer, Styling is something special and it will appeal to retro enthusiasts. As for cons, it's slightly more expensive and it's not a true Innocenti. Now, when the time comes and you need insurance for your motorcycle or scooter, make sure to get a quote directly with Lexum by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. With over 22 years of experience providing scooter and motorcycle insurance, along with several exclusive schemes only found at Lexum, you could well find the right policy for you. Back on with the show. Moving on to the sixth spot is the Echo 50 from Lexmoto, a budget brand known for producing learner and pocket-friendly Chinese-made machines. Weighing in at just 78 kilograms, the Echo is one of the lightest picks on our list, making it an extremely nimble and agile scoop, excellent for beginners who want to boost their confidence, experience, and independence on those urban roads. On to styling, and the Lexmoto Echo embodies what a sporty scooter should look like. Coming in two colorways with grey and blue and black and red, it gives you the look and feel of a bigger capacity scoot without the licensing restrictions. One of the reasons why Lexmoto is so worthy of its position on this list has got to be the price. You can pick one of these bad boys up for as little as £1,449, making this a great option for those youthful scooterists on a tighter budget or anyone looking for an alternative to being packed in like a sardine on the tube. As for pros, it's the cheapest offering on this list, it's compact and light, and it's cheap to run and maintain. 
As for cons, it's a Chinese built offering and it's pretty no thrills and basic. Sitting in the middle of the pack today, we have the Kimco Super 8R, a beginner friendly scoop with some pretty impressive upgrades over the last few years. Packed with a 49cc four stroke air cooled engine, Kimco has stayed close to the original by using a similar sleek and racy design, but made sure to give it a good dose of modernity through the now Euro 5 compliant engine. With the sporty styling, this is definitely targeting a younger audience or those wanting something very modern and sporty in design. Coming in at £2,499 for 2024, the Super 8 may not be the cheapest on today's list, but it is an affordable and stylish runaround. So for pros, it's got the sleek and sporty design, it's relatively cheap and it's perfect for a runaround scooter. As for cons, there's only two colorways and they don't have the biggest dealer network here in the UK. Next up and just missing out on the top three is an offering from the Taiwanese manufacturer Sim, the Jet 14. Over the past few years, Sim has prided itself on being an alternative option for those bigger and more expensive manufacturers within the scooter space, providing well-specced up machines with a solid build quality for a much smaller price point. For 2024, Sim has introduced a 50cc air-cooled engine and comes equipped with some pretty impressive tech, including plenty of underseat storage, a combination headlight, as well as a large TFT display, which is far more advanced than some of the others on this list. Lastly, if you want to pick yourself up a 50cc Jet 14, you'll be looking at paying £2,499, which is by no means the cheapest on this list, but certainly a great option for those who have a larger budget to spend. So for the pros, it's got impressive levels of spec for a 50cc and standout styling. As for cons, I just wish it had a liquid-cooled engine. Kickstarting our top three today, we have the trusty Piaggio Zip 50. Built with practicality in mind, the Zip comes equipped with ample storage space under the seat and in the footwell, as well as Piaggio's signature iGet engine. When it comes to design, the Zip may look simple, but it undeniably looks smart coming packed with bold features and two colorway options, Bianco Ottico and Nero Lucido. For 2024, the Zip 50 will cost you £2,250, making it a great option for those wanting a great little scooter commuter from a well-known and reputable brand. On the other hand, it is worth mentioning that if you want a 50cc with a little more stability, it's also worth checking out the Liberty 50. All in all, the Zip undoubtedly comes with a very likeable design and great entry-level spec, all from a very trusted brand. The Zip has been around for quite some time now, but that is just testament to how good of a scooter it is. Pros. Lightweight and easy to maneuver, cheap and affordable to run, and it's a tried and tested manufacturer. As for cons, the spec is a little bit basic and there are cheaper alternatives out there. Just missing out on the top spot today, we have an iconic offering from Vespa, the Primavera. Powering the Primavera, we have a 49.9 cc three valve four stroke engine that produces 2.95 horsepower. Again, by no means the highest performer on this list, but certainly plenty enough for those wanting to start off their two wheelie adventure. On to styling, and the Primavera is a 50cc scooter jam packed with heritage, history, and most of all, good looks. I think one of the best parts about this scooter has to be the five colorway options available for 2024, combined with that chic and simplistic Italian styling that everyone knows and loves. At the time of writing, you can pick yourself up a Primavera for your very own for £3,450 price which I'd argue is worth paying for such an iconic scooter and manufacturer. So for pros, it's got an impressive 8 litre fuel tank for a 50cc, it's a reliable and premium manufacturer, and it has heritage style and looks. As for cons, it's expensive and the retro looks aren't for everyone. Stealing the show and first position on our list today has got to be Aprilia's SXR50, arguably one of the most exciting on this list as it's the brand's first Euro 5 compliant 50cc bike. Fueled by a 50cc single cylinder four stroke iGet engine, the SXR comes packed with some pretty decent specs such as digital LCD instrumentation, MIA connectivity system, Bluetooth to connect your phone and much more. When it comes to the design of the Aprilia SXR, the styling is sleek and modern with the dual headlight that gives homage to the triple headlight typically found on Aprilia's sports bikes. Lastly, if the SXR is taking your fancy, well you're in luck as you can pick yourself up one at the time of writing for £2,450. So for pros, it's got the modern design which appeals to the younger audience, it's got brilliant Italian styling and it's a great overall package. As for cons, I struggle to think of any. Do you think the Aprilia SXR deserves the number one spot? What would you pick? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Check out my top 10 125cc scooters video over there or Alex's Vespa GTS 300 review over there. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.